What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and in this video today I'm going to be covering the Beard Struggles newest beard growth release. This is called Voxter, I believe, which they're calling a beard growth accelerator. You can purchase the bundle on their website. The lowest bundle is $80. It comes with their serum and one derma roller. Now at the time of purchasing, I didn't realize that they recommended actually getting the bundle above this one if you want to see guaranteed results when it comes to, I guess, new beard growth. However, um, I'm assuming that that is just the duration of use uh, that you get out of this accelerated serum. They're anticipating you would need to use this for a longer duration. Now, this video is going to be an unboxing and first impressions of the serum and the derma roller. Uh, number one, I've never used a derma roller. As you can tell, I have very good coverage uh, for my beard. However, there are some little problem areas that I would like to test this out on. And I was not actually able to find the ingredients for the serum on their website. So I figured once I ordered it and it arrived, it would be somewhere on the box or maybe on the back of the bottle within this box. Quick side note, if you are new to the channel and you're into beard care related content here on YouTube, consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna unbox here is the derma roller. This one still has the plastic around it. I think I actually took the plastic off of this. I think it had plastic on it when I got it. I don't remember, I've had it for a couple weeks now and haven't opened it, so. Okay. Uh, the back of the box here says that um, you should clean this before and after every use. Um, before every use, apply, I guess, uh, medical grade alcohol. Um, you roll it back and forth three to four times horizontally, vertically, and diagonally to make sure you're using it optimally, I guess. Um, there are needles on the derma roller and it's supposed to penetrate the skin a little bit for better absorption of um, products like the serum. I think alone, a derma roller is supposed to kind of promote follicle growth. I don't know a whole lot about that. Um, I'll have to do some more research on it, but I do know that people use the derma roller to help promote beard growth on its own. Uh, and it says here that you should uh, replace this derma roller uh, when needles become blunt or after three to four months. It comes in a cool little box. Here is the container that it comes in. Looks like this. A little plastic uh, cover for it and a little, little case. So that's what it looks like there in this uh, plastic casing and I haven't even looked at it yet, so let's see. Nice little handle there, it's got the logo at the bottom. Uh, it feels pretty sturdy actually. Uh, to my surprise, I figured this would be a little bit more cheap feeling than it is. If I'm looking closely here, I can see the little uh, micro needles on the roller. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of this thing. <laughs> I'll have to test this out um, whenever I'm testing out these products. And, and, I, and I plan to test this out and I'll show you sort of, not the problem area necessarily, because I know a lot of you guys who are watching this will probably laugh at me, uh, but I do have some spots right here on my lip line that I would really love to fill in. Um, I'm super envious of guys uh, who are able to really grow this out uh, in that lip area. So obviously not a big deal for me, but it's worth testing this out on and seeing if it works. All right, now for the follicle acceleration matrix is what they call the formula within this. Um, I'm guessing this is gonna be like a beard oil consistency. We'll figure it out, so. Okay, so it slides open, I think. Yep. Okay, I don't know if this drawer comes all the way out, but when you open it, this is kind of what you're getting here. Okay, yeah, they've got a little stopper inside here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. Um, there's a little stopper here that prevents the drawer from pulling all the way out, but. Now we've got the drawer out and here is the serum. The serum looks like this. Um, and like I said in the intro, uh, they do have the ingredients on the back of the box and it looks like they have instructions on the bottle and ingredients on the bottle, cool. So um, I will post a, uh, like a screenshot or something of the ingredients right here so you guys can see them. I'm actually surprised a little bit that they have CBD cannabis seed oil in here. Um, that's interesting to me because they're not marketing this as a CBD product. Now it does say it's like less than, I don't know, 0.0001% or, or maybe it's 0.0001% of the, of the volume uh, within this. Um, but 
uh, that's interesting to me because it's not it's not being called a CBD product or they're not advertising this online as potentially having CBD in it. So that's really interesting to me. Another thing to note here is it looks like they have a couple of carrier oils within the blend. Um, they've got some, let's see, water is the first ingredient. Uh, let's see, yeast extract, haven't seen that, no clue how that is in a beard product. I don't, I don't even know what that would be used for. Um, someone who knows more about lab type stuff would know, uh, but not me. A lot of the products that I use don't have a lot of like extra ingredients. Most of them are just carrier oils like your jojoba oil or, uh, you know, gosh, I mean, there's so many of them, meadow foam seed oil, rosehip oil, um, jojoba oil, like I said, castor oil, uh, argan oil, sunflower seed oil, things like that. Um, I think I did see sunflower seed oil in here a second ago. Um, yep, there it is, sunflower seed oil. So they've got a couple of carrier oils in here. They have a couple other ingredients that I don't know what are. Uh, anyways, those are the ingredients. Uh, I, hopefully you were able to kind of check those out on screen. Like I said, they were hard to find on their website. Uh, I actually never did find them on the website. So this is the first time I've gotten a chance to look at the ingredients for this product. All right, so let's open this thing up. Okay, so after a little bit of trying to figure this out, it actually has a twist top. It comes up like this. Pretty fancy, actually. kind of like that um, little twist top action here. Um, I don't know. Overall, it's a cool-looking bottle. Um, you know, the, the look kind of goes with their whole theme on the website, so I can definitely see that. Now, let's check out this oil. I'm assuming this is going to come out as an oil, given the ingredients. Okay, interesting. It comes out as almost like a gel. Um, you can see how thick that is. Um, okay, it's got like a minty scent to this. This actually kind of reminds me of one of their other scents uh, that they have um, that has like a mintiness to it. I can't remember which one that is. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. It kind of does smell a little chemically almost. It's like that, it's like a minty chemical smell almost, but I mean, I guess what can you expect from someone who's trying to make a beard growth serum? And if you're new to the channel, uh, you guys know that I don't necessarily believe in beard growth serums. Um, I'm very skeptical. You can find a lot of companies that are trying to say that their product promotes new growth and accelerates the growth of your beard hairs and things like that. And I've found them largely to be false. If that was a product that existed, uh, you probably wouldn't have guys out there, you know, that are balding and can't find Find, uh, you know anything to help fix that um, you know some people will get hair transplants and stuff because it just doesn't exist a serum to like grow hair uh, where there wasn't hair or where you have lost hair so um, I know we're talking about beards here but I am very skeptical of this Voxter beard growth accelerator but I will test this stuff out what I'm gonna do like I said earlier is I'm going to use a derma roller sort of right here on my lip line and just this little quadrant here and this little quadrant here um, and I will let you guys know um, in, I guess, 90 days how it goes. The website says to use the derma roller twice a week, I believe, and then the serum the rest of the week. Um, so I will be doing that for the 90 day duration of this testing period. And the website, again, says that you should be doing this for 120 days to see results. Um, I've got a feeling that I'll be able to use this for 120 days pretty easy considering I'm only using it right here. Uh, so once I get to the 90 day mark, I will make another video for you guys so you guys can check out sort of the status and update of uh, this Voxter beard growth serum and you can kind of follow the, the growth journey, if you will, um, that I go through with this product. All right, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Seriously, I really appreciate it. If you have made it to this point in the video, please consider hitting that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Just remember to continue embracing your beard and embrace the beard life. See ya.